All right, what's up, people? So, this is just a little update video on why I haven't been posting and stuff. I'm driving my RSX. I haven't, like, formally introduced it. This is my daily driver. Um, you know, my Miata is kind of my weekend car. I'm also my backup car when this car breaks. Pretty much, I haven't been posting videos just because I've been really busy with school. And, I don't know, if any of you pay attention to my channel, I currently go to UCR. Um, I'm the historian of the car club over there, so I do all the pictures, I do videos, stuff like that. Um, you know, come check us out. Let me know how that video was. <laughs> all 25 of you that are subscribed to me right now. But anyways, I haven't been posting videos just because I've been busy with school. Um, I haven't had a super giant budget, so I haven't been able to buy too many parts or anything like that. Um, on top of that, um, I did get you know, a little fender bender um, in my RSX about a month or two ago. So having to do with that, um, fixing this car, and actually fixing this car, I did get a lot of footage. I had to replace my motor mounts, I had to do brakes, just a couple things like that. Um, for my brakes, I just bled them. Unfortunately, um, when I did change out my front brakes, I couldn't find my battery charger for my, uh, for my camera. So I didn't get footage on that, but I'm sure my rear brakes will need replacing soon or something squeaking, so I'm gonna have that all opened up. Um, my Miata probably needs some oil soon, so probably maybe a video like that coming up. Um, but on the bright side, I did get some new gear um, on the cheap, thanks to Amazon. So as you can see, I can now shoot from a car like this. I've got some pretty cool ideas going with this, kind of maybe like a Matt Fair review or like one take kind of videos because there are some awesome cars that are driven at UCR. Maybe I can talk up all those owners and do kind of that sort of deal. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, definitely I'm gonna be editing all that footage that I have sitting around. Um, now that winter's coming up, I'm actually headed toward one of my last finals right now. Um, sorry, I haven't really been posting. Um, hopefully I can get some videos, maybe start posting every week, every other week, um, something more consistent like that. Um, this is my RSX, there's not much done to it. I've got Raceland coilovers, so some cheap coilovers. Um, I do have some vintage like raise wheels that I got last year. Um, you know, I'm not running super stance or anything like that. Um, I do want to go pretty low on these coilovers just because this is my daily so, and I drive like a grandma anyways. Um, what else is done to this car? As you can see, the steering wheel's beat up. Um, I bought this car with like 200K on it, and I'm just putting more and more miles on it. But other than that, it runs great. It's base model. Um, I have a shift knob from 9K Racing. Um, I have an ultra gauge on here. So, funny story behind that. When I actually started college, I didn't have a garage to work on. So, um, I kind of got into a little bit of detailing, not super crazily, but you know, I started to wash this car more. Um, you probably can't see that now because my car is filthy. I haven't had time to even wash it. But yeah, I got into detailing, but also I got into hypermiling because what comes with college is not having money. So you kind of learn how to save money um, doing little things like driving like a grandma. Uh, apparently that's what it takes to save a ton of gas. Because right now on this RSX, I'm getting about 42, 43 miles per gallon. Um, daily driving it, which is awesome. Um, I think factory rated this car at um, 27 with 30 on the highway. It was a base model, by the way. If I didn't mention that, probably have. Um, but yeah, I mean, it gets great mileage. The ultra gauge is awesome just to keep track of everything. And because it is a daily driver, if, uh, if, check engine lights come on, anything like that. It almost has a live reading of it. It tells me what's wrong. I just look the code up and yeah. So um, that's just kind of a little update. You can probably hear that my brakes are super squeaky right now. Um, I don't know what's up. I literally just got new pads. Maybe something's rubbing and I know I'll have to look at that this weekend. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the state of this channel. I'm gonna try posting more. Um, if you guys like the videos, from from the car club from drive i'll start posting some of those i'll start making more of those hopefully i'm going to be driving a couple cool cars if people let me um if any of you guys go to ucr and watch this let me drive your car <laughs> stock or fully built or whatever um yeah 
If you guys go to UCR, you can see that I'm just driving around campus, so I'm talking to a camera like a weirdo. Um, I'm not hitting any students. I'm looking forward. I'm going to be trying to push out more content. It's just college is, college is busy. Um, I work a part-time job, I go to school full-time, and somewhere in between I gotta find time for YouTube. Oh yeah, if this guy lets me drive his car, that'd be awesome. Because it's a Nismo Juke. Jukes are kind of weird looking and funny looking and honestly not the greatest looking cars. But the Nismo one's pretty cool. It's, I think, turbo four-cylinder? I might be wrong. Um, there'll be an annotation saying what it actually is, or if I'm right. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I should have a video coming out in about a week or two. And if you are subscribed to me, Thank you so much for watching. Um, tell your friends about me, whether they drive Hondas or Mazdas or whatever the heck. This is just kind of turning into an all-inclusive channel. I'm not really, I guess I shouldn't say I don't have a direction. I do have a direction where it's just spreading the love of car culture and the joy of cars. But I mean, I don't want to limit myself to like just doing fixing stuff videos, DIY videos, stuff like that, or just limiting myself to like doing like oh this is the car meet that i was at so yeah i'm um, expect a little bit of everything from this channel i'm um, just it's gonna take some time and i'm gonna try my best to push out constant push out content consistently thank you for watching if you are part of my 25 subscribers at the moment thank you for subscribing that seriously means a lot like Every subscriber is awesome. Just to think that people want to watch my weird videos of me awkwardly talking to a camera and wrenching on stuff. Um, or even in my car, as you can see right now. But yeah, thank you for subscribing. Um, hit a like on this video. Tell your friends about it. Um, 